What's up YouTube? Welcome back. So in this video I want to talk about, for a quick moment, uh, Eva Longoria. I know right, when's the last time you heard that name? But yeah, Eva Longoria and what she had to say about the election that just passed and voter participation. So Eva Longoria was on MSNBC and she was talking about the election that passed and giving her thoughts and opinions and you know being very celebratory etc good for her but during the process she wind up saying something that rubbed a lot of people especially a lot of black women the wrong way which was Latina women were the true heroines of this election and she was downplaying black women's role in the election and the Democratic Party and getting Joe Biden and Kamala Harris elected and some folks had some issues with that and you know for me personally even Longoria has always kind of irked me for some reason. I'm not sure why, but for a long time. Um, for some reason or another, Eva Longoria has always kind of like, mm, like, I can't put my finger on it, but for some reason, she just kind of irks me, right? And... For Eva Longoria, I think that she was trying to get a little piece of the pie, which I, you know, she wanted a piece of the pie for the Latinas and probably just both Latinas and Latinos, but especially Latinas, which is fine to want a piece of the pie and to want the credit that you have, but it's not fine to try and diminish someone else's contribution in order to bolster your own and I think that's where things went left and that's where people were like hey you know you don't downplay black women's contributions and as well wasn't um, vice president elect Kamala Harris like just recently giving a speech about you know the black woman the backbone of this country yes she is well this is Kamala Harris so it's more like that black sister she is the backbone of our country our democracy yes she is I'm a black woman too when it's convenient to come through right and some people were taking issues with that, you know. But, you know, something to bring up here since we're talking about credit and whatnot. Um, should black women want credit for this? I personally think that black women should be given credit for this, even though some people may feel like this may ultimately end up kind of like backfiring on black women. But, you know, black women did contribute. And a lot of times black women's contributions do go either they're totally unnoticed or they're very much marginalized. Like, people don't really tend to celebrate black women's contributions and what they really contribute to, you know, not only the black community, but also the country in general. So I can definitely understand, you know, wanting credit, definitely. Um, but on the other hand, some people are saying like, oh, you know, this is, Kind of like setting black women up to be sort of low-key dehumanized in a way. Because like, oh, the backbone. Well, you're not a human. And then some people are like, well, this is going to cause people to expect so much more from black women than black women are able to give. And putting all the pressure on black women to come through and to make things happen. And, you know, black women, you know, while amazing and wonderful and powerful and beautiful and etc that black women are at the end of the day black women are human beings you know and are subject and bound to the laws that govern human beings they're not like supernatural beings 
you know, perhaps, you know, have some adjacency to supernatural beings, but not supernatural beings themselves, right? So some black women are taking it from that angle. Um, but to bring it back to Eva Longoria here. So once Eva Longoria said this, folks came through, you know, especially black folks, and, you know, had some things to say. And Eva Longoria came through with an apology. And I'll share this apology with you. So Eva Longoria tweets. I am so sorry and sad to hear that my comments on MSNBC could be perceived as taking credit from black women. Could. Okay, so right there, right off jump, we already kind of, you know, have an apology that's not totally taking responsibility and accountability and culpability for what you did and what you said could be perceived, it was perceived that way, right? So she goes on to say, when I said that Latinas were heroines in this election, I simply meant that they turned out in greater numbers and voted more progressively. than Latino men. But the thing is, with the way that it was set up, it was set up as if she was comparing black women's contributions to a Latina women's contributions. And by the way, I know some people going to come through and like, well, Latina and Hispanic and blah, 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 aren't racist. They're ethnicities. And that is true. They are ethnicities and they're not racist. And it's more based on like a cultural aspect versus a biological aspect. That is true. However, those phrase, well, those names, you know, Latino, Latina, Hispanics, like, are sometimes used when it comes to when we're talking about race, right, and um, groups of people. So that is a phrase that they use when they want to galvanize and come together and, you know, advocate for themselves, you know. So that's the phrase that I'm using. But of course, we know that you know, Latinos and Hispanics can be of any nationality. It's just talking about having origins to Latin, Amer Latin America in some way. And, you know, coming from a country that is, has some sort of a base in like Spanish culture, perhaps Portuguese culture as well. Um, some people say that um, French culture should be included, but it's not. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. So let's get back to Eva Longoria's apology, quote unquote. <laughs> My wording was not clear, and I deeply regret that. There is such a history in our community of anti blackness in our community, and I would never want to contribute to that. So let me be very clear. Okay, so she acknowledges anti-blackness in the Latino communities, right? <clears throat> and that is true. Um, there is anti-blackness in the Latino community. Eva Longoria, Eva Longoria is pretty much like Mexican-American. I think she would be more considered like um, a Chicana. Um, she is from Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, her family... Like, the border crossed them. They didn't cross the border. Um, you know, her family has a long history in the United States before it was technically the United States, right, in that part of the United States. Because, you know, you got to know your history, right? Texas was a part of Mexico at one point, as long as, as well as a lot of other um, states, right? And that's why the countries, the countries, that's why the states, some of the states have, like, Hispanic names and a lot of the cities have um, like Spanish, Hispanic names as well, right? And, you know, <clears throat> when it comes to Eva and her family, that's kind of like their story, right? So Eva, you know, she a Chicana, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, I have heard, you know, amongst like, you know, 
Latino people, especially um, like Mexican folks, but probably some other folks too, there is like anti-black sentiments, right? You know, oddly enough, Eva Longoria was married to um, like a guy who was biracial. He was part black, part white. Um, Tony Parker, um, basketball player, or former basketball player. Um, but that ain't stop her from saying what she got to say. And plus, their relationship been done. Um, she's married to a dude who is Mexican now. Um, you know, born in, I'm probably born and raised in Mexico, or at least born in Mexico. So good for her. Uh, so, she goes on to say, Black women have long been the backbone of the Democratic Party. Something something we have seen play out in this election as well as previous elections. Finally, black women don't have to do it alone any longer. Latinas, many whom identify as Afro-Latina. And let's stop right there too. Afro-Latina, this Afro-Latina, Afro-Latino thing always gets thrown out when some Latino is being anti-black or getting caught up in being accused of being anti-black, right? Now they want to throw out, you know, their um, Afro-Latino brethren and sisterin and whatnot. Any other time, they are pushed to the back, all right? Make sure that they are not seen or heard, all right? But, you know, they know when to pull them out, right? I think there is like somewhat of a saying even in like, you know, amongst like Lat Latino folks where it's like um, a lot of Latino folks have like a black grandparent in the closet or something like that. Something like that. I don't know how it's exactly phrased, um, but something to that effect. So let's go on and finish this apology here. So... Finally, black women don't have to, they don't have to do it alone any longer. Latinas, many whom identify as Afro-Latina, indigenous women, AAPI women, and other women of color are standing with them so we can grow our collective voice and power. Together, we are unstoppable, exclamation point. Nothing but love and support for black women everywhere, exclamation point. You deserve a standing ovation, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. So that's her apology, all right? <clears throat> and that's like, ah, eh, so that's what she got to say, right? <laughs> um... So, yeah, what do you think? What do you guys think about the apology? Do you think it's cool? You're like, you know, she just had a moment. You know, we all make mistakes. Or do you think that she was like, mm, let me take the shine away from black women because I don't like that, you know? <clears throat> you know, maybe she was just being a feisty Latina. You know how it goes. You know, it's okay for them to be feisty, but don't let you be an angry black woman, though. Right? Because, oh, even Longoria, she was just being feisty, but the black women responded to the feistiness. Oh, they angry black women. Oh, they got a problem with Eva. Oh, they just jealous. You know, black women always be hating on any non-black woman. All right. Um, but again, you know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a sincere apology? Do you think that she's just saying this just to kind of you know, pacify some people, um, and as well, you know, um, Carrie Washington uh, kind of came out, and she wanted to come to Eva Longoria's defense, you know, and, you know, I find that interesting that, you know, I don't know Eva Longoria and Kerry Washington's relationship, um, but I do find it a bit interesting that sometimes it does seem like black people are quicker to come to the defense of black, uh, 
of non-black people who get caught up in like anti-blackness or whatever, then when black folks get caught up in some sort of a issue or something, you know? And I think I see if I can bring up what Kerry Washington said. Um, as far as like, cause she said something, um, that's a bit interesting, um, when she was coming to her defense. So Carrie, Ro Carrie Washington, she posted the following, you know, and tweeted the following and she was like, I know evil like a sister. We've been together, ah, rather, we have been in many trenches together. She's a fighter for all women. Here we go with this all women thing again. All lives matter, right? Read below, this is what she meant, and this is how she truly feels. So, she pretty much just um, posted Eva's like response or clarification or whatever. And, you know, I think that, you know, I don't, again, I don't know Carrie Washington and Eva Longoria's relationship. Maybe, you know, she is like a sister to her. Maybe. Um, but sometimes I do think that we as black folks are maybe a little bit too generous with our advocacy for other people who are non-black who oftentimes don't return that generosity and concern to us. And that's kind of like what I'm, you know, where I'm at with it. Um, and, you know, she says that she knows her like a sister. I do think that's a very strong statement, right? Um, but, you know, that's what Kerry Washington thought, right? And Eva Longoria has apologized. So at this point now, it's just the ball is sort of in our court as far as, like, the community is concerned. It's like, how are we going to treat Eva Longoria going forward? And basically, I just, you know, she was irrelevant to me personally before this. You know, once Desperate, House Ride, Desperate Housewives ended, um, I feel like she became irrelevant in general. Um, so, being irrelevant, you will continue to be irrelevant, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.